Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to another update on this Wednesday, March 6th, 2024, about 11.28 a.m. here, California time. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 2.5 out here around the Java Trench. Indonesia Islands area did see some movement uh, across the globe. We'll check all that out here in a little bit. Covering Iceland activity first, got uh, somewhat of an elevated day out here in the last 12 hours, seen about 52 earthquakes here in the uh, the rift zones, rift boundaries out here of Iceland, and a little specific swarm here southwest of Grindavik. Uh, a little interesting uh, activity. It looks like there was a, uh, a three-pointer that did come in in this little cluster of swarming that's occurring out here. Uh, so, got to watch this area up here, of course, the uh, Grindavik area and the region where we've seen this most recent eruptive activity take place. Uh, could be starting to see some further uptick in that region as we uh, move forward. Uh, the latest informational statement here from the Icelandic Met Office. We'll see if we're up line. There we go. Uh, still states that there's an increased likelihood of an eruption. This was put out yesterday. So, uh, continue to watch the activity. The GPS coordinates, or not coordinates, but the uh, inflation charts uh, at the Savart Singhi area. Let's go ahead and pull this one up here and see what we got. Well, they continue to show inflation here across the area. This is the vertical displacement. Uh, the run times here in the four hour stage um, showing some uptick there. We'll continue to watch that. Of course, report back on any major changes that take place. Uh, still watching New Zealand out here. I know they've had a little bit of activity uh, this morning. Looks like a 3.1 occurring on the plate boundary here to South Island area. Uh, that's from the EMSC GeoNet servers reporting this as a... Well, hold on a second here. Are they even reporting this? Bring this up to the all magnitudes. There it is, 3.1. I guess it wasn't really a felt earthquake, unnoticeable earthquake down here off the plate boundary. Uh, for that 3.1 so they've you know they've still seen a little bit of activity here in the last 24 hours nothing large scale but uh, just kind of watching that definitely seems to be elevated out here across the area of New Zealand recently and of course they sit in between this zone that we've been watching back and forth here been seeing a larger scale movement down south here and a bunch of deep larger movement up north that's got to affect the plate boundaries here uh, specifically in this region so I don't know if uh, not for sure how much longer these guys are not going to see some some type of adjustment here. I know these smaller quakes add up, but I'm still kind of looking at some further, uh, at least some moderate movement taking place here across the plate boundary. Here's those sixes that keyed up here earlier uh, in the month. Oh, about three days or so ago. And then we had one yesterday as well. So again, a lot of activity stirring up here north and south of the New Zealand area. We'll continue to watch. Our latest activity this morning. Near Samoa, 5.1 coming in. Very shallow earthquake up here. Just at the top of the plate boundary. That comes after um, a series of deep earthquakes here into the Tonga Trench. Uh, up across the western Pacific. Darn it, those uh, that looks pretty quiet up there. At least according to the USGS. There is some activity though stirring up. Looks like some threes across the area of Taiwan northward into Japan including a four-pointer looks like they're into the japan trench so not entirely quiet uh and ab you know it's not absent of earthquake activity it's just usgs not showing anything that's uh, above the 4.5 level even though there's a four or a 4.1 level 4.0 level all right uh what else we got here across the java trench there's that 2.5 coming in there even this area looks fairly quiet in terms of moderate activity this earthquake here from yesterday um, yeah they're really not showing a whole lot over here uh, 4.5 in China but I know we've had a lot more activity over in this area of the world uh, with that ongoing earthquake swarm here across the area of the Ionian Island area uh, the Greece region seeing uh, still some twos and threes out there no major change overnight uh, but just kind of keeping an eye on it. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, fairly quiet out here. Not a whole lot uh, to report out there. Uh, across the West Coast here, did have a little bit of movement off the coast of Washington with a 4.5 coming in out uh, towards the Cascadia Basin area. Well, maybe along this plate boundary here uh, between the um, Juan de Fuca plate and the Pacific plate. Nothing big, just a little four-pointer. 
Um, as far as activity across the Cascades here, getting a little bit of smaller microquake activity out there. Not a whole lot there across Mount St. Helens, at least according to the USGS map. And uh, we got some activity stirring up in Yellowstone right now. Looks like a little clustering of earthquake activity. 19 earthquakes here, so let's go check it out, see what we got. Latest informational statement out here. Uh, I can already see those earthquakes coming in here. Looks like a, somewhat of a little swarm going on in the last couple hours here, mainly around the Maple Creek area, it looks like, Holmes Hill region. Uh, these earthquakes in question are right here. Got a decent amount, maybe 15 or 20 of them coming in. Uh, USGS reporting up, oh, just about 20 of them. So these are all very small microquakes uh, centered in a little location there uh, listed on this map. Definitely not a big swarm, but uh, it is a, a little increasing activity out there. Not really showing up here across the park because those are not, uh, well, it probably have to be about a 2.0 or above to show up slightly out here across the other seismograph stations but for now a little bit of microquake movement stirring up out there today in Yellowstone all right back over here across the west coast uh, looks like the Reno Carson area uh, Reno Sparks area most of this activity from yesterday it did have one more 1.9 in the area of Reno Sparks area this uh definitely has been stirring up here recently in terms of the earthquake movement really not a not a main quake at all just a series of swarms out there the last 30 days here uh, shows us a couple different regions out here i think it even goes beyond the last 30 days but uh, i got about 102 earthquakes here within this time frame some of that from yesterday as well so just kind of watching that seeing where that may lead uh, bay area fairly quiet down in socal uh some small clustering going on here off the imperial fault near el centro some of this from yesterday a little bit from today as well uh, no migration of the swarming at all across the plate boundary, but uh, again, we'll continue to watch that region. It's definitely primed for some larger movement. One little earthquake out in the Pleasanton, Texas area. I uh, wonder what's out here. Probably don't have to wonder, right? Well, there's quite a few oil fields out here for sure. Got to zoom in. Uh, let's see if this is close to any of them. Sometimes it's hard to tell with the vegetation out here. Um looks like there may be a couple out here here's a holding uh tank area it looks like uh either way a backing out view shows that uh there's mentioned oil field names out here so definitely uh they're no stranger to earthquakes out there and that's going to continue for the future for a little while uh new madrid seismic zone seen this earthquake from yesterday not a big earthquake at all a little small microquake and haven't really seen anything today popping off there uh across the hawaii area uh, of course, the USGS has uh, noted that they're going to be doing weekly updates now instead of daily updates. So we'll have to double check the uh, seismograph stations out here ourselves, make sure everything's being reported. There's not a whole lot being uh, picked up out here, as we can see on the graph. A couple smaller earthquakes here in the last 12 hours, but overall uh, seismic activity fairly quiet. Uh, UWE tilt meter station there shows a little bit of gradual uh inflation going on here in the last two days but really nothing of major concern for now all right space weather activity let's check this out here see if anything else is going on here looks like a very dull moment in space weather history we're actually below the c flare category into the b flare like literally dipping down into the about the central portion here the b flare category that's just some standard background um activity and uh yeah these sunspots are not looking promising here there's quite a few numbered sunspots out here but uh there's uh as far as complexity goes they are just disappearing kind of like dust in the wind uh, i'm not for sure what's on the other side uh, of course i don't really see anything out on the eastern limb for now uh, so unfortunately we're entering into a very quiet time of uh, solar activity 80 percent chance for a sea flare and flare at 15 and of course way less than one percent non-existent there for the other categories not a whole lot of auroras in the forecast due to this uh continued quietness as far as the storm prediction center goes today uh, not a whole lot of severe weather out here we do have some thunderstorm chances out here across california and 
various other uh, areas of the country. It looks like maybe a small percent, 2% zone down there. A small 2% zone, there we go, across Florida. Um, looks like that includes Miami, Fort Lauderdale area as well. Just a, uh, just a slight chance for some isolated, severe thunderstorms down there. Main threat is going to be some wind and some hail with these uh, thunderstorms as well. And then, of course, as we get in tomorrow... Looks like things may be amplifying up here a little bit across the area of Texas, Oklahoma, stretching into Kansas as well. For, uh, well, got a 2% chance there in Oklahoma and Texas, but mostly wind and hail threat out there across uh, that broad area of severe potential. So keep your eye on the sky if uh, you're out there um, in those regions tomorrow. All right, numerical models. Here's our uh, low pressure. Going to bring some rain to Southern California. Really not expecting much in Northern California. But uh, after that, we got a, a couple more colder storms coming in behind that as we advance into the middle of March. Things start to dry out uh, for the West Coast. And uh, noticing a jet stream pattern switch up here. Looks like that's going to be diving way down into the center portion of the country, bringing some colder air. Uh, and it does look... Uh, it does look likely like that pattern will stick around for a little bit. Um, yeah, some much colder air dipping down here into the Midwest area. California going to be above average here. Uh, that high pressure definitely going to be strengthening off. The, it looks like it looks like it almost wants to come about the 15th of the month. Um, notice that high pressure building out here off the Pacific. And uh, that's going to keep us warm out here in the West Coast. Cooler air dipping back down into the country, into the center portion of the country. And, um, ooh, look at that. There's some brutally cold air coming down uh, behind that one. So definitely a pattern flip, it looks like, coming on. I mean, I, I could handle some warmer temperatures, I guess. But uh, I don't want it too hot right away. And then after that, uh, we'll have to see what comes in line for the uh for the end of march all right folks i'm out of here got quite a bit of school work i got to catch up on there's some activity there showing up on yellowstone it looks like aside from that all these seismograph stations are quiet for now uh yeah 2.0 coming in right now to the area of uh let's see where that is exactly pull that up oh just popping up here on the plate boundary the san andreas vault Near the uh, Romus area, it looks like Watsonville region. So, uh, I mean, that's it's been relatively quiet here over the last 24 hours. But uh, this little microquake here, really not that concerning. But uh, it did pop up, 2.1. All right, folks, have a good day. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Take care.